What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Loud and Proud YouTube channel. If you want to check out this new beanie, it is frigid cold and these new leather tag beanies are ultra, ultra soft, warm and they're keeping my ears in good, healthy, not purple and frozen condition here on this super cold October day. We're actually on our way to drop some wheels and tires off here to get mounted and bounced for the OBS Ford, which I think you guys are going to really like because there is a little bit of a surprise for you guys and I'll hold it for the end of the video. But let's just say this is one of the biggest and craziest and most incredible opportunities you will ever have at entering into one of our giveaways. And you're not gonna wanna miss what we have to show for towards the middle and later half of this video because let's just say if you liked being able to enter to win the 9812 valve, you're really gonna like being able to enter right now. And if you've been watching the website, then you already know what's happening. You already know what's live. And uh, yes, yes, it's true. And yes, it's crazy, but uh, get in while you can. Anyways, little bit of update here on the grandfather's truck. 258,000 miles and counting and uh, running like a champ. Good oil pressure, nice low coolant temps. Everything's been good. Um, just changed out the oil with some oil and some Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer. Thing runs really, really nicely. And since I replaced everything on the truck, it drives nice and straight even with no hand on the wheel and super, super happy about that because this thing had a lot of shakes rattles and vibrations and it's really nice being able to drive it now and not have to worry about that because to be honest it was very rattly but luckily those problems seem to have subsided completely once we replaced pretty much everything under the truck and i am also dealing with a small problem that i just started to have with the 9812 valve but no it's nothing mechanical it's nothing like oh my gosh that's terrible the freaking driver's window decided all of a sudden it doesn't want to go back up so i've had it parked in the shop luckily i have a shop to park things in now so it's been in the shop the last three days parked over the weekend because we had a lot of other stuff going on the wife threw a huge surprise birthday for me which thanks honey love you we've had the truck in there and because the driver's window won't go up and i put a new window motor in it a new regulator and all the linkage in the door which was actually fairly easy and i'm like this is gonna fix it nope same symptom and i took the switch apart and i'm looking at the switch and the module and i'm like this doesn't make a click sound when you push it up. It goes click, click when you push it down. For the passenger, up and down, it goes click, click, you know, like it's supposed to, because it's metal making contact, little copper in there making contact points. And in the down position, the switch does the same thing, but when you click it up, it's super spongy. and doesn't make any noise at all. It doesn't make any sound. I took it apart, kind of looking around the prongs in there and everything, and it just looks like it's totally trashed. So I'm hoping that it's a simple, can you believe the price of those switches? $50 for a freaking little two switch thing for one of those second gens. At least where I'm finding them around me in Ohio, every place I call them. $45.95, $45.95. I'm like, for a freaking little plastic switch? I guess it could be worse, but uh, we're gonna hopefully get that picked up here in the next couple hours, once after we get these wheels and tires swapped around on the OBS, and hopefully we have a working window again because it is way too cold to not have a working window. But speaking of cold weather, look at the leaves changing around here. It is so beautiful. I love the overcast, the freezing cold days. I live for it. And uh, if you're a deer hunter, you know exactly why I love these cold fronts. But uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you are a deer hunter. Have you been out? What have you been seeing? Have you had a good season so far? Let me know. The new wheels and tires have been picked up and successfully mounted and bounced. This is a wheel combination that you are going to find very recently done on one of our trucks. Hard to go wrong with this style of setup on a 97 pickup. And I think you guys are gonna really like it. It's another one of those old school feel vibe setups that it just matches the era of the truck. So let's get to it. Let's get these things thrown on there. So here we are in the barn. Like I said, my wife threw a little surprise birthday for me. So that's what all the balloons are for if you're wondering. So we got the wheels and tires here that are currently on it. They're 35 by 12 and halves, but they're these Mastercrafts. They're pretty wore down and I don't love the tire. I'm not saying they're a bad tire. I just don't love the tire. And I really hate the wheel set up on this thing. Like I really don't like the XDs in this particular configuration on this truck. It just does not, it doesn't work for me. I don't like it. We're gonna pull these off, get these ready. 
Uh, the ones that we're putting on here should be ready to pick up in the next 20, 25 minutes. So we're going to start by getting a couple of these pulled off here. That way they're at least ready to go to start to put the new ones on. And just in case we have any problems pulling any lug nuts off, we can start to go through the process, get some jacks under it and pulling off the lug nuts and making sure they're all loose and ready to go. So let's get to it right now. I'm Mickey Thompson, classic threes on again, a 16 by 12. Show them the wheel, show them the wheel, let's go. Get a little look, see? 16 by 12, Mickey Thompson Classic 3, 8 by 170 pattern because this truck has been axle swapped to 03 axles. At least that's what we're about to find out. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> if this doesn't work. If this doesn't work, that sucks. I hope so that these fit. This is way heavier than I thought. I'm not do that. But if they don't, all my butt hands are pretty screwed. We landed on the moon! We didn't land on the moon, but these things fit perfect. They clear. They clear. They clear. It's honestly like these wheels and tires were designed specifically to make sure they still would work on Ford with this exact caliper set up and everything. Because <laughs> Because they, they fit though. Mm -hmm. Like they're close, but they fit. So this is where things get a little hairy. So I got a dream that I'm gonna be at the top of the scene. I'm never restrained, making my presence something to be seen. Yeah. I'll make them all see that I could be anything I wanna be. If you got a dream, then you need persistence and lots of belief, yeah Yo, don't take that Negative energy, I'ma place that I just wanna be me, I don't fake that I just wanna be free, yeah, chase that I got a new obsession It's helping and teaching and giving everyone a lesson It's living and winning and building something that's impressive I don't wanna do the same thing, I wanna be progressive all so I'ma make a new me, a new beast, a true fiend He's everything that he wants to be Look in the mirror what he wants to see It's a dude looking back at me I stay on track, yeah, track things I'm setting goals, life hacking I'm steady stacking I see myself being happy A better me with a strategy that I'm attacking Ooh, to the test and you know I'll ace that Hit me in the face and I'm hitting right back I enjoy the chase so I'll stay on track, yeah I enjoy the race so I'll make that back Got a lot of dreams that I'm looking through Got a lot of things that I want to do Got a lot of goals that I want to prove And there's not a lot of time so I gotta make moves because it's really windy and it's snowing so that's great but you can head over to both these trucks right now at lmpgear.com for the last few days of the red truck giveaway 98 12 out when you place an order to win this truck you're getting entered to win that truck also and i'm talking obviously two separate trucks with two separate amounts of cash two winners right now you can place one order and get entered to win both trucks and if you've ordered throughout the entire giveaway for this truck great but you can place another order and all those entries are just gonna keep getting added up. And if you enter this last few days only, you're gonna get entered to win both of these trucks. So take that all in, it's pretty awesome. But uh, anyways, check this thing out. And he's gonna just show you around here real close. So again, the 16 by 12s are negative 50 millimeter of offset. No caps on the fronts because it's got lockout hubs, unlike the Dodge, it does not have that system on it. Um, in the rears, of course, we got the caps on because we can. We were kind of nervous putting these on. He said it was axle swap with the 6.0 truck's axles. So he's like, it's an 03 axle setup on it. He's like, so they should be 8 by 170s So I just rolled the dice on my way home and I ordered 8 by 170s And I said, well, hopefully he's not lying and hopefully this isn't the wrong information because they're bought and paid for and they're on the way. So. They're on the truck, looks so much better. Honestly, like I wanted to throw up my mouth a little bit when I first saw it on the other wheels when we bought it. I was like, this is disgusting. Like, 
<laughs> we put these on this truck. No, hey, and that was like your build and you were just kind of like putting pieces together on what you're gonna purchase. I'm just, I'm just playing, I'm not actually serious. If you have wheels and tires like that, that's cool. I just, yeah, didn't like them on this truck. Right now, liked it again you can enter with both of these trucks back up so they can see the, the rear halves of these trucks what's it going to be comment down below comment down below when you enter to win right now are you entering because you want the 98 or are you entering because you want the 97 forward 98 12 valve five speed short bed quad cab 97 obs 73 power stroke six inch lift 35 16 by 12s What's it going to be? Comment down below. Let me know which one you're most interested in when you enter right now. Anyways, guys, uh, that's going to be it. Also, 30X entries, and you can spin the wheel for crazy amounts of entries. Enter to win both these trucks right now.